Hello there, this is Rahul and welcome to the AWS series. So in this chapter of this AWS series, we are going to take a look onto the AWS EC2 user data script. Let's first try to understand why do we need a user data script. So here onto the screen, you can see that on left hand side, I have mentioned an EC2 and on the right hand side, I have written some bash script. So this bash script is responsible for installing the Apache 2 onto my Linux EC2 machine. So why does the user data script helpful when I can do the same installation manually? So for that, uh, just take a look onto this next slide. So here you can see we have an EC2 instance and we want to pre-install those packages. So so that's what we call it as a bootstrapping. So whenever you want to pre-install certain packages onto your EC2 machine, then you should use the user data script provided by AWS. So what will happen is like in this example, what we are going to do, we are just going to set up an EC2 instance. We are going to set up some user data script and into that user data script, we are just going to write some uh, bash script to install the Apache 2 as well as Docker so that whenever we start an EC2 instance, so those packages are pre-installed onto my my EC2 machine. So what are the benefits of using the user data script for EC2 instance? So the benefit which you will get over here is once you configure those user data script, then all those packages present inside those scripts will always be pre-installed onto your EC2 machine. So you don't need to waste time on installing those packages again whenever you provision a new EC2 machine. So these can be really useful to speed up your development process and you can have a preset of packages which is already available onto your EC2 machine. So before we jump into the demo, let's try to understand what example we are going to take. So here onto the screen, you can see this is the user data script which I have written and this user data script is responsible for installing the Apache 2. So here you can see the command. So here I'll be running the command with the sudo and there will be a option. It will ask like, do you want to install yes or no? That's why I have prefixed it with a yes and the pipe and after that sudo apt update. So the first command is going to update the package manager. Second, we are just going to install the Apache 2 onto our Linux EC2 machine. So let's jump to our AWS console and create our EC2 instance. So here is my AWS dashboard and here in the search box, you can type EC2, click on this EC2. Uh, here you will find an option to launch an instance. So click on this orange button over here. First of all, you need to key in the name of your EC2 instance. So I'm just going to put test EC2 uh, with user data. This is I'm just doing it for demo purpose. That's why I'm just keeping the name in this fashion. Next, we need to choose the base operating system. So I'm just going to choose Ubuntu, but you can choose any any other operating system of your choice. That's absolutely fine. I'm just sticking with the uh, like a free tier and here I'm choosing the t2.micro. The next thing is you need to associate the key pair. So either you can create a new key pair or either you can use your existing key pair from the list if you have already created. And if you don't know like how to create this key pair, then just check the previous uh, videos where I have shown like how you can create your SSH key pair and associate with your EC2 install. So I'm just going to choose my existing key pair, which I have already created. The next thing, uh, the network setting, I'm just going to keep default. Uh, the only thing which we need to change over here is the security group. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to enable the allow SSH. I'm just going to allow HTTPS traffic as well as I'll allow HTTP traffic so that I enable the port 443 and also I enable the port 80, which will use for verifying our Apache service. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm just going to stick with the storage. So I'm just going to choose 8 GB. I'm just going to stick with the default one. Now the important thing. Now just click on this advanced detail. And here we need to use the user data script uh, for which we want to install the Apache. So if you scroll down further then here, you will find a section like a user data. This is an optional section. It is not a mandatory. If you don't specify anything, then you will just get your uh, bare minimum vanilla version of your Linux operating system, which is in case we are using Ubuntu. But here in this section, we can write our script. So for uh, this section, I'm just going to copy the script from my notepad and paste it over here. So here the key thing is you need to start your script with this like bin and bash. Otherwise, it will not able to understand that particular bash script. So here this is the comment section uh, just for the help. And here I'm just using the sudo apt update to update the package manager. And then I'm just trying to install the Apache. So that's my user data uh, script section where I'm just updating my script. And once you have done this part, then you can just click here and launch instance. 
and it might take a couple of minutes to start this particular instance. Uh, so here you can see it has initiated the uh, instance. Just click on this ID. And here you can see it's still into the pending state. So just wait for a bit. All right, so now my EC2 instance has just started and the instance state is running right now. So just click on this instance ID. And here you can see the public IP4 address through which we can access it. So I'm just gonna copy this IP address. I'm just gonna head over to my new tab. I'm just gonna paste it and hit enter. And here you can see the Apache default page. So this is the welcome page uh, when we have installed our Apache 2 service. So as you can see, uh, like whenever we use this user data script, then we will be able to pre-install certain packages onto our Linux machine. The next thing which I'm just going to show you, uh, like here uh, in the instance state, if you'll go, sorry, not instance state, into action, uh, instance setting and user data. So this was the user data script, which we have uh, like uh, uh, inserted over here into this area or into this text box area. But also EC2 instance or AWS EC2 instance provide you a facility to upload a shell script file so that you don't need to manually enter this whole script over here. So you don't need to copy and paste. You can just have your shell script ready. You can just upload the whole shell script and then you can also provision your EC2 instance. So let's take that example also. All right, so now we have seen a very basic example on how to install Apache 2 as a part of your user data script for your EC2 instance. The next example, which I'm just going to take is to upload a shell script file and write down all the package installation instruction inside your shell script file. So here onto the screen, you can see the example. So this is a bin.bash, which indicates that it's going to be a shell script file. The first step which we are going to perform is to install the Apache 2, which we have already seen. But just for uh, this example, I'm just keeping this uh, script over here so that you know that you can install multiple packages using this user data feature. All right. So here is the first instruction for installing Apache 2. The second thing which I have took is to install the Docker also. And this is a single file uh, which I have named is like install Apache 2.sh. OK, so here you will find these instruction for installing the Docker. So these instruction I have just copied from the Docker official website, like how to install the Docker onto Ubuntu system. So this is the instruction which I have copied and this is the shell script which I will be uploading as a part of my user data. So in the previous section, we have seen like we have just copied this instruction and pasted over there. But instead of copy pasting those instruction, now we are just going to upload this file. All right. So let's go back to our AWS console dashboard. So here you can see our previous instances has been terminated. So I'll just start again. I'll just go to search box, type EC2, click on EC2. And here just click on launch instances. I'll put the name like test EC2 uh, with user data file. I'm just going to choose the base operating system, which is Ubuntu. I'm just going to stick with the free tier, t2.micro, uh, key pair. I'm just going to choose existing one, uh, which is this uh, in my case. And I'm just going to stick with the default network setting. But here I'm just going to enable the HTTPS traffic as well as the port 80 traffic onto this instance. All right, let's go ahead. I'm just going to stick with the default uh, uh, like a disk space, which is 8 GB and go to advanced detail over here. And now that's just scroll it down further. And here you will find the option for a user data. Previously, we have just pasted the content over here into this section. But instead of that, now we are just going to upload a file. So just choose a file from here. And here you can see, uh, I'll just move this window here. So install Apache 2.sh. So that's my shell script file, which I have just shown you. So I'm just going to click over here. And as soon as you upload this file, then you can see the content over here. So here, uh, this is for installing the Apache. And after that, it is going to install the Docker. So these are the instructions which is for installing the Docker. And once you have verified these details, then just go here on the right hand side and click on launch instance. So just click on launch instance. And uh, since now we have increased the number of uh, packages, which is ne which needs to be installed as a part of a user data. So it might take a little bit more time. The more script you add into your user data section, then it might take a little bit more time to come up the EC2 instance as well as uh, keep those services up and running. So it might take a couple of minutes to get everything ready inside our EC2 machine. All right, so let's verify our EC2 instance. So here you can see our EC2 instance is up and running. So click on this instance ID over here. And first thing which we need to verify is the Apache 2. So I'm just going to copy this IP address. I'm just going to head over to new terminal and just going to hit enter. 
So here you can see our Apache 2 has been installed successfully. So at least we are able to verify from the Apache default uh, welcome page. Okay, so first package we have verified. The next thing which we need to verify is the Docker. So for that, we need to SSH into our remote uh, EC2 instance, which we have just started. So for that, what you can do, you can just click on connect over here and here you will find the command. So here, this is the SSH command, which is uh, like, uh, this is a sample command which they provide, uh, the AWS provide to us. So we need to modify this command uh, based on our SSH key. So I'm just gonna open the terminal over here. So I'll just go over here. So here is my terminal. And I'm just gonna paste the command over here. So I just need to modify the private key part over here. So here, I'm just gonna remove this one and I'm also gonna remove this whole part. I'm just gonna keep this thing because uh, this is the private key which is available uh, onto my local system in the same directory. So I'm just gonna keep this private key over here. But in case if you are using different key, then just switch this uh, name over here and then hit enter. Type yes to accept it connection. And here you can see now we are logged in into our remote machine. So this is the uh, like uh, internal IP address for that machine. So 172, 31, 21 and 180 and which you can verify from here also. So here you can see the same private IP of that instance. Okay. So now we need to verify the Docker also. So for that, I'm just going to clear the screen and I'm just going to run the command Docker dash dash version. And here you can see the Docker has been installed onto my EC2 instance. All right, so now you have seen like how the user data portion of an EC2 instance in AWS works and how you can incorporate your shell script for installing your custom packages. But there is also one more tip I would like to give it to you. So like whenever you write some custom script in the user data section, then it's probability that it might not work for you in your first attempt. So in that case, you need to find the log file so that you can investigate what's wrong with your command and you can check on the errors if there are something wrong with your shell script command. So here this is the command which you need to use. So this command is pretty simple uh, tell minus 3000 that's like I just wanted to tell the previous 3000 lines of logs but the key thing over here is this particular log path. So here you can see where log cloud init output log. So this is the important log file which you need to keep in mind because in case if you have written some custom shell script into user data and it and the changes you don't see after uh, starting your EC2 instance then I would highly recommend to go and check this log file because here you will see the actual uh, error log if those scripts are not run successfully. Okay so here is my terminal let's check that log file so I'm just gonna clear the screen and I'm just gonna run the command tell uh, minus 3000 uh, just for example you can put any number and here you need to specify the path var log then cloud init dash output dot log so this is an important file i would say and here you can see all the logs and all the commands which we have run as a part of a user data and hopefully you should see you can see over here the logs like a docker uh, here it is trying to install the docker. So in case if those command uh, which you are trying to install doesn't work then you will definitely see some kind of an error happening over here. So that will help you to troubleshoot the issue associated with the user data script. I hope you have learned something new from this uh, EC2 instance user data script portion and you will be able to bootstrap some of the commands into your EC2 instance whenever you are launching it for the first time. Uh, so if you are interested into the similar content, then please check out the channel where I have uploaded various sessions on a cloud and DevOps. And uh, if you are interested into the similar content, then keep following this channel. There will be more similar session in this AWS series. Till then, take care and bye bye.